Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to Hope Series, Skin Health or Skin Health, a quick, a quick skincare guide for every age and gender. So today, um, we have a special guest because it's Grandparents Day. I want to greet everyone, our dollars and dollars, happy Grandparents Day. Now, Skin Care for Hope believes that educating the public on skin care is important to achieve better skin integrity and environment. So, we have specialists that we will interview in the next series on skin care and body health. So, today's topic is skin, senior skin health. So, Dr. Janice um, Zamuko is a geriatrics medicine specialist. She trained in the U.S. and at the University of Missouri, Columbia. Now, she's practicing in Asian Hospital and Medical Center and in Makati Medical Center. Welcome, Dr. Janice. So, welcome. <laughs> Happy grandparents. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. So, thank you for being with us. Alam ko marami kang patients na seniors. Parang, can you share with us any mga nakikita mong mga skin problems or skin concerns uh, sa kanila? Um, siguro yung isa sa pinaka-common would be yung dry skin. Kasi, ano, di ba, very, ano talaga siya. Uh, it comes up a lot. Um, yung iba, they get itchy. Pero yung iba talagang dry lang. Parang makikita mo rin sa uh, balat nila. I think yun yung pinaka, and then, um, yung iba kapag, ano, depende, kunyari yung mga naka-diaper na kasi, so maraming nagkakaroon ng yun, mga diaper rash, yung iba may fungal infection. Um, mayroon din akong patients na, ano, uh, kunyari yung sa circulation, kunyari may problems with circulation, so they'll have um, venous insufficiency, so di ba, ibig sabihin yung um, uh, circulation sa legs kasi nga hindi na normal. So, nag-iba yung kulay ng legs, yung iba mas dark, yung iba nagkakasugat. Ang pedre din, tas may mga pressure ulcers, yung uh, tawag na dita, the bed sores. So, yun. So, those are some of the most common things. Yeah, no? Although, before that all happens, usually dry skin muna talaga. That's like the first thing na uh, pwede mangyari. There's a question here na pinadala. So, your mother ko, Doc, may biglang nag-appear sa skin, pero hindi naman makate. Anong dapat niyang gawin doon? Mm-hmm. Um, I think depende rin. Ano, kasi kung, let's say, konting uh, redness lang or may konting bruising, yung parang medyo may basa, pwede naman i-observe. I guess depende rin if it's in an area na, um, kunyari, parang niisip mo na baka maging pressure ulcer, maging bed sore, kunyari sa, um, yun na, around the anus, no, sa may wet, kapag lagi kasi nakaliga, um, yun, medyo mas, ano tayo, um, we have to be more proactive. Pero if it's just, uh, kunyari, sa braso, or sa legs, na hindi naman um, concerning yung itsura, hindi naman, walang ibang nararamdaman na symptoms, we can observe first. Uh, pero yun, kunyari, mga ilang uh, weeks, tapos ganun pa rin, or lumalala, uh, then you should definitely have a doctor check it. Ang isang concern kasi would be, um, diba kapag skin cancer, we look at, uh, for example, yung mga uh, sugat na hindi gumagaling, um, or kung merong uh, mga nunal, yung mga holes na nagbabago, let's say, nagiging iba yung shape, or um, kulay, or um, dumudugo. So, yun. So, depende rin sa itsura ng um, vision. Basta kung hindi ka sigurado, mas maganda pakita mo na lang sa doctor. Doctor, yeah. And it helps to check the skin every day, every month, siguro, like a full body check, you know, kung merong bago na um, lumalabas na pwedeng skin cancer. Kasi that's the age na pwedeng lumabas yung, ano, yung mga skin cancers. Right? Um, and then ito, common, may question din here about maintenance medicines. Nakaka-dry ba ito ng skin? Yung mga maintenance na ano, nakaka uh, uh, um, I think sa seniors kasi, in general, no, uh, we were talking about that, na dry na sila, or they're more prone to dry skin to begin with, kasi nga, uh, parang ano, less yung, hindi sila nagpapawis as much, tapos yes. less yung oil talaga na uh, yes. napaproduce. So, oo, tapos, yun nga, kapag meron pang mga maintenance medications, which are very common um, in, the, in seniors, I think yung pinaka- um, nakikita ko would be yung mga blood pressure medications. So, di ba, halos lahat ng mga senior merong gamot kahit isa for blood pressure. So, yun. 
um, that can add to the dryness, lalo yung mga um, diuretic. So, yung mga, ano kasi siya, di ba, pampaili siya. So, the goal is really to get you on the dry side. So, yun, it affects your skin or it can affect your skin. So, kaya yung um, cholesterol medications then sometimes that can also um, contribute to dryness. I see that also. I see that in my patients. And uh, yung mga may sakit rin nila, if you're diabetic, if you have kidney problems, talaga mas prone na yung ano, skin mag- mangate. Oh, there, there are a lot of patients who complain now on itchiness just because they have diabetes and just because they have uh, kidney problems. And it's important to address that na kailangan parang yung maintenance of a regular application ng lotions para ma-minimize. Actually, um, yung ano rin, add ko lang yung bukod sa diabetes sa kasap kidney conditions, yung mga, um, I mentioned earlier, yung circulation nga, no? So, any other um, disease that will affect our uh, blood circulation. So, common din, uh, di ba, yung kunyari merong coronary artery disease, merong sakit sa puso, or yun, yung specifically yung circulation sa legs, yung mga peripheral uh, vascular disease, yun. Dahil nga, hindi maganding blood flow, naapektohan talaga yung quality ng balat. So, mas prone na magkasunggat rin. Ito, ayun. Ang lower legs actually ang pinaka-dry lagi. So, kung ay mo mag-lotion sa ibang parte ng katawan, pero at least yung legs, um, we call that as theatotic uh, eczema. Parang it's really common as uh, sa elderly people. You can use as plain as kahit oil na eh. Um, will be enough para lang ma-moisturize yun. Ito, merong question here. Parang, gano kadalas dapat maligo ang mga seniors? Less ba dapat? You know, we have patients na minsan less kasi they may feel na hindi gano'n ka kailangan. Uh-huh. Ideally talaga kapag sa, sa Philippines kasi, you know, mainit talaga. So, it's humid, so you're more prone to sweat. Kahit na yun na less kapag matanda. Pero, um, I normally tell patients everyday pa rin kung kaya kasi nga uh, mas prone ka rin magkaroon ng bacterial, fungal infections kapag hindi um, maganda yung hygiene, di ba? But in other countries, alam ko nga ang sinasabi nila sa seniors, pwede kahit twice a week lang, di ba? Maligo. Pero yun nga, hindi ko hindi siya kaya dito sa atin. <laughs> so, yun. Ito o yun. Tsaka ano, um, if you ever maliligo, at least malinisan yung um, folds, so that's your neck, your kilikili, your singit, your puwet, yun yung talagang kailangang malinisan ng, uh, ng gusto. Even, not just yung regular seniors, but kahit mga bed, lalo yung mga bed uh, within, or parang mas matina. Well, caregivers naka-depend, so caregivers talaga dapat should focus on those areas. Yeah. Eto, Janice, um, there's a question on anong mga health supplements ang pwedeng i-take para sa skin? And safe ba ito kung may mga maintenance medicines? Mm-mm. Yeah, um, most supplements naman, uh, safe naman to take with other medications. No? Uh, wag lang mag-over. Merong uh, yung tinawag natin na fat-soluble na vitamins, di ba? Yung A, B, E, and K, yung, yung mga um, mas pwede mag-overdose. Pero most supplements, ano, safe naman. So, um, as far as skin health, I think yung pinaka nakikita ko would be uh, yung, actually the same vitamins that help with our immune system. So, vitamin C, saka zinc, um, and also vitamin E. So, yun, parang may mga nakita ko na it also helps with um, protecting our skin from sun damage. So, nakakatulong siya. And then, uh, meron ding selenium. Yung selenium, ganun din. Parang it helps uh, with, um, yun din, to protect from skin skin damage. And yun, actually, you can also get it from your diet. So, uh, seafood, from chicken or wheat. Um, and bukod doon, I think for wound healing, yun, di ba, alam natin, vitamin C is important for wound healing. Um, yung zinc also helps with wound healing aside from vitamin A. So yun, I think yun yung mga basics, which is, which is usually what we get from a multivitamin anyway. Um, saka lalo ngayon, di ba, with the pandemic, I know a lot of people are taking extra vitamin C and zinc. Um, and then yung isa pa na important rin talaga yung vitamin D. So vitamin D as in dog, di ba, we, we get that from the sun and yun, it's also good for skin health. Oh, 
na mention mo yung pandemic, so I was talking to my mom earlier about sodium ascorbate, kasi parang they're taking it in high doses, and it's actually good for the skin. I read researches na yung elastin and collagen um mas kumakapal, mas kumadamo. But then again, um, di ba may mga parang ayaw mo nga ng overdose? Parang what's ideal kaya na dosing for vitamin C ascorbate? Ayun, for vitamin C. Um, hindi naman siya, ano, yun nga, hindi siya kasi yung delikado. Oo, na mag-overdose. Pero usually, ang nangyayari, di ba, we just, ano, we just um, excrete it. So, parang sayang lang din if we take too much. So, normally talaga, ang suggestion lang is uh, between 500 to 1,000 milligrams in a day. Pero yun nga, I know that people usually take more kapag, uh, lalo kapag yun, yung medyo may sakit, masama yung pakiramdam. Uh, siguro at ano, normally since I was here at most up to 3,000, 2,000, 3,000 a day. Pero in general, up to 1,000 should be enough. I agree, no? Kasi di ba sodium? Parang that's also factors for kidneys and for hypertension. Na, mm-hmm. na patients na ha- they have to parang be careful na, na walang masyadong sodium. And so, sa hagawa niya. Um, meron pa nga, ano pa ba sa mga pang pa, um, topicals are virgin coconut oil. But, uh, uh, it's also very good for, for skin. Do you also advise that for oral? Yung mga iniinom na virgin Oo. coconut oil. Oo. Yeah. Yan, ganun din. With the pandemic, di ba, yung meron nga silang studies saying na uh, it actually helps to, yeah, to help boost the immune system. It helps, um, patients fight COVID. So yes, so lalo ngayon, um, some of my patients, uh, yung mga nutritionists kasi they recommend usually at least one teaspoon a day and then when they're sick, up to three teaspoons a day. So, so yun. So, parang beneficial siya, you know, pwedeng ipahit, pwede rin inumin. No, pag, ano. Oh, oh, I think so. Virgin coconut oil is very versatile. So skin, it's um, antibacterial also. Bukod pa dun sa moisturizing. So, I like it after bath, nakapag after maligo. Kasi mabilis actually siyang mag-absorb eh. Contrary to what other people think na hindi nilang malagkit. Uh, pero pag virgin coconut oil, ang it, after bath, well, yeah, apply, mabilis siyang mag-absorb. So, speaking of bathing, na pinag-usapan natin kanina, kapag mga um, seniors, as they, as they age, as they uh, grow old, what would you advise on bathing kapag uh, independence and the showers. Uh-oh. Um, usually, because was the senior in general, we try to encourage independence, diba? so we try to have them do as much as they can on their own, um, as long as it's safe. So, ang ano lang uh, concern ko niya, ay merong senior na nahulog na or talagang prone to falling. Uh, we always advise the caregivers or the family members to be there. Kung hindi man yung talagang alalay, um, basta nandun sila para lang in case na uh, yun nga mag out of balance or mahino yung pasyente. Kasi yung usual na ano sa, di ba ngayon, very, ano, or at least mas common na, na sa mga bathrooms, merong shower chair, kunyari, imbis na nakatayo yung um, senior habang naliligo pa yung nakaupo siya, tapos dapat ideally may mga grab bars in the bathroom. So, may pwede siyang kapitan. So, kung medyo uh, mahilo siya or whatever, meron siyang hahawakan sa shower, pati pa malapit sa toilet, yung mga ganun. Um, and then, usually, uh, ganun din yung sinasabi mo kanina na uh, just to help with yung dryness na dapat ideally mabilis lang yung shower, hindi yung sobrang tagal, tapos hindi mainit na sobrang tubig. Um, tapos yung, yung sinasama mo kanina, di ba, na right after uh, taking a bath, we always recommend yung um, pat dry lang, hindi dapat sobrang gaspang ng tuwalya, kahit yung lupa or yung face towel na ginagamit nila pagbigo, dapat hindi masyadong rough yung texture. And then yun, right after bathing, talaga dapat mag-moisturize kasi uh, otherwise, mas, mas prone nga na mag-dry up lalo yung skin. Tapos ano, um, ayun lang naisip ko yung, mer- meron kasi ako mga uh, patients na may dementia na, so yung mga senior patients, di ba, na medyo makakalimutin, tapos mahirap sila talagang i-convince na maligo. 
So, yun kasi nakikita ko sa nursing home rin na sinag-aaway nung sila ng mga caregivers. So, yun, yun lang din sa challenge. So, um, kailangan lang talaga matsyaga yung caregiver. Tapos medyo tatimingan mo na uh, medyo good mood talaga yung pasyente. You use humor. Medyo aaliwin mo. Huwag hindi rin kasi effective yung pinipilit. So, um, so yun. So, kailangan lang timing. And then, sometimes it helps also to have a routine na alam nila na, okay, kahit pa paano may schedule siya na pagka-easting, hindi ko tayo, tapos breakfast, ganyan. So, although sometimes talagang mahirap, so, basta, you just do what you can. Um, depends also on the patient. Oh, Alright, I agree with that. Okay, so thank you so much, Dr. Janice. We learned so much from you. So, Healthy skin also um no it can get a better better way of life uh in general. So thank you so much for joining us this evening. Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye. So I hope you enjoyed our video clip today on Hope Series Skin Health or Skin Help uh, on Senior Skin. Now, next next week, we will have a new guest. And this time, it's in celebration of Family Day. So we're going to be talking about adolescent skin or teen skin health. Okay, so please, please come and see us again. Thank you.